Hello everyone, my name is William Chen. Welcome to Global Air Learning. We're here to share and learn interesting stuff and make friends with other kids. If you want to be the speaker or participate in any teamwork of this event, please register as a member on our website. The link of the website is on the slides. You can also scan the QR code to go to the registration. Hello. My name is Darren, and I am a fourth grader who is 10 years old. I live in Los Angeles. Some of my hobbies are reading, math, and coin collecting. The reason I chose this topic was because I like collecting coins, but I did not know where they came from or how they were made. I know from archaeology that people had different useful things, ornament, and tools. And we know that they had these things long before money was invented. But at one point, things started to change. What was bartering useful for? Bartering was very useful in the past because, for example, if one clan wanted to or had too much grain and another clan had too much fish but wanted grain, those two could trade. Question. What was bartering? Bartering was an action where you would give someone something and the other person would then give you something you want. But about 10,000 years ago, people started to settle down. Scientists don't know why they did this, but people around the world started settling down about at the same time. So, people started focusing on agriculture instead of running around and hunting animals. They also started to raise and keep animals instead of hunting and killing them. What people did was these new types of living. These new types of living were harder, so people started staying in one place for a long time. And we can tell that they started caring about who owned what, because nobody wanted someone to just run around and grab themselves, grab your finest cattle or wheat. The fields were not owned by a single person, but by a family or a clan. The people with the best harvest would also be in a good position to barter. We know that goods were circulating around 10,000 years ago because things like shells have been found in ancient towns far from the, where they should be. This was another clue that some big trade was going on. Then. People started using clay tablets to keep track of how much stuff they owned. They didn't write, but they drew symbols that represented animals or crops. The world's first real money. The world's first ever money was from ancient China, where they stopped bartering and started using shells as currency. They first started using shells. Then, they found out that anyone could go to the beach and get them, so they started using copper, bronze, and gold to make shells. The people who were far away from the ocean made shells out of bone, because they did not have access to the ocean. When war started up, the emperor made knife-like coins. These were designed so that if an enemy tried to rob you, you could defend yourself. When the wars ended, People saw no point into making their currency weapons, so they cut off the knife part and got the third coin. There is no professional name for it, but I like to call it the round coin. It's basically a coin, but with a square hole in the middle. Different countries' money. So we all know that different countries have different money, but do we know their history? France. Today, France's money consists of francs and centimes. The oldest French money is Greek silver coins that were made in Massilia almost 2,500 years ago. Since January 1st, 1999, the euro has been the official money of France, replacing the French francs. China and Japan the modern currencies of China and Japan both developed from silver dollars introduced by American traders. They were traded for silk, 
gold, tea, and rhubarb. The dollars were called round coin or yuan in Chinese and yen in Japanese. They then started to take, started to take over traditional currencies as the main source of currencies. Both countries played an important role in the development part of paper money. United States of America. The currency of the United States of America is made out of dollars and cents. Coins and paper money were first introduced into North America by European settlers. The first U.S. dollars were paper. The continental currency bills issued from 1775. The silver dollars were also issued from 1794. The U.S. dollar, made out of paper since 1862, is the world's most widely used currency. Thank you for sharing your presentation on the history of money. Now we're going to do a vocabulary review. Battering. An action where one person trades with another person for an object both want from each other. Archaeology. Digging up artifacts, treasure, and studying them. Ornament, a thing to make something look more attractive. Round coin, ancient Chinese currency. Yuan, Ch China's modern currency. Knife coin, money that you can use to defend yourself. And France, France's money before it got replaced by euro. Japanese coin, modern Japanese coin. Two questions. What do you think? First question, what do you think will happen to money in the future? I think that money will get even more intense. I think that money will become screens. You know, when we only have like $1 bills and $5 bills, I think there will be like $3 bills and $4 bills and then $11 bills. Okay. Second question. What do you think will happen to ancient money? I think uh, the ancient money will disappear. I think the ancient money might like eventually become like really rare. And if someone like has it or found one, it probably might be worth a lot of money or something. Oh, it's the whole time. <laughs>